Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Sweaty here, and today I am going to be addressing an issue that happened to me. A few days ago, there was a ban wave that went out in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and unfortunately, the reporting system got me. A lot of people spam and reported me, and I'm just going to explain how I don't cheat, okay? Now, for many years, ever since Modern Warfare 2019, the spam report system has always been a thing. Essentially, it has affected a lot of search and destroy slash really good top tier players back then with Warzone as well, going along with the progression of it, how it changed, and with the implementation of Modern Warfare 2, with Warzone 2 and everything else like that, it got even worse. Not even just that, with the release of Modern Warfare 3, it is back and it's probably worse than it's ever been. And in today's video, we're going to be addressing a lot of things and just talking about a lot of the issues that this whole community is overgoing right now. Now, granted, it's very unfortunate for people such as myself, hence the fact I really want to try my hardest to make a lot of content for Call of Duty, and not even just that, just gaming in general, but being put in situations like this where I got to play on the alt account, where I can't even grind and continue the mastery grind like I was doing on the channel. I was just uploading gameplay of me unlocking gold for the weapon and just getting the gameplay with the weapon. And quite unfortunately, I'll be honest, a lot of the gameplay most likely was reverse boosted. And the crazy thing is I never reverse boosted in any Call of Duty. I reversed and boosted for two days on this game. And because of reverse boosting, I got banned, which kind of triggers me a little bit because a lot of the top creators in this entire space actually reverse boost, reverse boost for their content. And it, it's disheartening seeing myself get banned, but they don't, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, it's like that due to the fact that a lot of these people are in fact whitelisted, so they can get reported as many times as they want, they will just not get banned. And even if they do get banned, they just gotta send a text out and they'll get unbanned. It's unfortunate, but I guess it just is the way it is. We just gotta go hard this year and get our name known to where that can't really happen to us. I never really cheated in Call of Duty, never will. I actually gained nothing from it. Played the game for a really long time in this entire franchise, and unfortunately for myself, I get the shit under the stick almost all the time. But that comes along with grinding as well. You know, you're gonna sit here, you're gonna get your highs, you're gonna get your lows. But it's unfortunate, but we're still gonna persevere and we're still gonna continue. Got really big plans for this year and Honestly, the way things are going, I see a really bright future. With daily uploads happening, we've gained close to about 20-something subscribers, which is really, really awesome. I'm extremely grateful for you guys showing interest into the channel. And we got a lot of content coming as this interstellar grind goes and stuff uh, for like the forge weapons and everything like that for the channel. I'm just going to make a video of me just unlocking forge for the weapons. For interstellar, I actually got an idea on how I really want to make an interstellar video. It's probably going to be one of a kind. Granted, some people are probably going to attempt it as well and make the same exact video. But, you know, of course, I like challenging myself. So we're going to see how it goes. But talking about skill-based matchmaking in this game and everything like that, unfortunately, it has put us in different brackets, right? It's unfortunate that it's a bracket-based system. And a lot of people who are good players, such as myself, we get penalized for being good players because a lot of people think we cheat. Honestly, I try to do things in the game that I don't really see nobody else doing, and almost nine times out of ten, the things that I try to do work out tenfold. And to be honest, it it's very sus. Um, I got some clips in the shadow band lobbies I was in. I turned my receding hairline on or something, man. I, I got a quad feed off a of spawn, wall bang. Um, I was playing against a hacker, of course, and... Uh, Almost got a RGL, I believe that's what it's called, grenade launcher nuke. I mean, it's insane, right? But what gets me, and this is the truth, you know, I'm not trying to bash the game because the game's been bashed too many times. I'm not trying to call anybody out because I'm not going to drop any names, of course. But Call of Duty, the core concept of it is supposed to be an arcade shooter. You know, I know over the years we've been going for like realism and many other things like that. And there's a lot of core components that actually were pretty cool and actually were implemented. And I like how they're trying all these different things. But honestly, every single year, skill based matchmaking does in fact ruin the game. It doesn't just ruin the game for the people who actually want to play the game and pursue it and try to make gaming and or streaming or content creation into something. But it also hinders the people who are essentially just trying to casually enjoy the game. Now, granted, I understand a lower skill players are going to play lower skilled players and they're actually going to enjoy it but when you get people such as myself who's actually been playing this game for an extremely long time especially investing a lot of time into the franchise itself it's pretty hard for someone like myself to actually succeed the way i would really like to i don't really want to sit here and vpn i don't want to sit here and rb because dude i rb'd for two days i got banned it's dumb and yet there's people that are literally re reverse boosting that do it on a consistent basis i don't hate nobody for reverse boosting it's just the way things are it's just unfortunate that i got banned knowing I was just trying to enjoy the game. I don't want to sit here and fight against skill-based matchmaking 100% of the time. Because to be honest with you, the system is set up to decide who wins and who doesn't. It's true. There's clips all across the internet that shows 
skill-based hit reg, skill-based hit boxes, skill-based spawns, you know, skill-based TTK. You know, there's been times I've witnessed it myself, especially back in 2019. Model for 2019. I was playing on, sh um, what was the map called? Shoot House. Was it Shoot House? I don't know. I forgot the name of the map. It starts with S. But basically, yeah, it was Shoot House. I'm tripping. Was it? I don't know. Um, but basically, I was playing. I was using MP5. Uh, there was a low school player that was partied up with the six man party I was playing against. Granted, we hadn't advanced up. I was running around. I was on the right side of the map near like the makeshift little building and stuff with like the targets inside of it. I started shooting at this person. Dead center. 30 shots into their chest. Not one bullet registered. I literally watched the kill cam. This is in core, by the way. I watched the kill cam. He hit fired me and three shot me. That was one thing that kind of caught my attention. Like, okay, there's some bad things going on here. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the clip because it was a really long time ago. And it was on my laptop that's over there in the stack that got fried somehow. I don't know. That's that. And then um, in Cold War, I experienced it in Cold War. You know, skill base hit reg, you know, but it wasn't as bad, but it was there. Happened every so often. Now, Modern Warfare 2, that's when it really, really hit really hard. You know, I remember I was playing on Hydro right? I was playing hardcore, um, hardpoint and I re no hardcore headquarters. I, I remember just like yesterday I was using the SPR and the, um, game came out probably a week or two and I was playing and I was running through these people. It's like my sixth sense kicked in and I started, you know, predicting where these people were. I got like a nine or 10 man feed then out of nowhere, having like 30, 30 latency out of nowhere. My packet burst went up to nine, nine, nine. I started lagging around the mat. Two or three kills off the MGB, by the way. So I'm trying to get these kills while in the MGB, kill streak and stuff like that. I do, in fact, get like one or two more kills super close to the MGB. I lag super hard, then I die. Then, of course, after I die on that kill streak I was on, ping stops. Ping stops, 30 latency again. Annoying. Then, of course, as time went on, updates for the software such as the AI for anti-cheat and many other things like that, you know, skill-based matchmaking, everything else like that. You start seeing it evolve a little bit within the game you know there's people such as serality he's a really good call of duty player of course which means he's really skillful you know skill base hit right dude he died by being hit fired with not even being centered on the people's screen like their hitbox is here and he's here literally they're hit firing here and he dies he died around corners through shit i mean it's happened to me it happened to all of us right um but not even just that with modern warfare 2 uh one thing they did test a lot with that game is rank play right they tested the probability of of the actual AI within the game when it comes to, you know, skill-based matchmaking. And rank play was really core component for this because it tracked so much information on the players. And actually, quite unfortunately, your SR, the SR you actually earned, the game bet it before you actually got into the game on who in fact was going to win this game based off experience. And a lot of the times it would rig you. It would mess with your connection, mess with your hit reg, and it'll purposely make it to where you get bad spawns. It'll give it you know, you just have to fight against all these different concepts just to attempt to get good. Now, granted, a lot of people do cheat. It's unfortunate. Now, with Modern Warfare 3, what I'm witnessing, and this is so unfortunate, man. So when I did reverse boost for the two games, well, two days I did reverse boost for before I got banned, um, your connection, dude, you had the crispiest of connection in these lobbies. I'm speaking, you shop, they died instantly, right? Oblivious. It, it, it makes no sense. Hit, hit, hit detection was on point. Spawns made sense. You didn't get no revenge spawns in the game, right? You, you kill these people in this area. If you're farming it properly and you're a really good player, you know how to rotate. They stayed in that area for a really long time, right? But if it was SBMM, I, I'm telling you, they spawn behind you. You get it pack and burst every so often, right? There's times where you shoot first, you die. You get hit markers. You get hit markers, bro. It's... It's ridiculous. But yeah, unfortunately, my main account did get banned. And, you know, I really, <laughs> I really want to pursue this year very hard. And of course, that's what we're going to do. Um, right now, I'm playing on my second account and I'm just leveling it up. Of course, trying to get gameplay. Unfortunate, but I don't think I will, in fact, get the gameplay I want to get. It happens, man. It's bummer, but it is what it is. So what we're probably going to do is upload some private match content, spots, tips, and tricks. And to be honest with you, there's a series I really want to start. So every Sunday, I'm going to open up a few hours of my time to help you guys. And essentially how I'm going to do that is I'm going to teach you guys in private match and also playing with me tips and tricks and just teach you guys how to get better at the game. Now, granted, I do main hardcore because I enjoy it a lot because it's easy for me. You know, I don't got to sit here and worry about skill based matchmaking kicking in and I shoot first, I die first in core, I dump a whole mag in somebody, they three shot me. I'm not a fan of that. You know, especially with skill-based matchmaking fighting against me 24-7, that's just a headache. I mean, look, my hairline's already kicking back as far as enough as it is. 
I really don't want it to kick back anymore, man. But this video is just a informational video, just basically explaining my plans and what happened and everything else like that. And, you know, um, I've always been true. I've always been honest. You know, I never really gain anything from lying. And, you know, a lot of people may look at that as if, oh, well, um, yada, yada is what it is, man. I... I know who I am, I know my purpose, and, you know, I know my goal. And essentially my main goal is to try to make this whole gaming slash, you know, streaming thing into something, you know, try to make something out of it. And we're, we're on a really good path, guys, I'm not even gonna lie, but... God, man, it's unfortunate that I gotta fight skill-based matchmaking 24-7 to just do good. I mean, to be honest with you, on my other account, I play against hackers almost 24-7. Almost 24-7. Play against people, wall and all this stuff. Because my KD's over a 2? Man, dude. It's, it's ridiculous. It's so crazy. And then in the shadow ban lobbies, you play against hackers. And what I did, in fact, notice is in the shadow ban lobbies, one out of every 10 or 12 players is actually cheating. The other players were just falsely reported. And these lobbies seem easier than the actual lobbies. Connection was on point. It's just unfortunate that people were just blatantly cheating. I got some ideas on how they can get rid of these cheaters. You know, the actual cheaters. All they need is just an admin player sitting at a screen or something. And honestly, when someone gets reported, they review. They review, they see their games live and stuff, and they can actually see if this person is actually cheating or not. Because all the people that are doing the admin stuff, they just got to run a software in the background, which is like walls, essentially, and just see how this person's playing and see if it correlates to them actually cheating. And that's how I would personally do it. I mean, granted, it would be unfortunate because somebody has to sit here and watch these videos and almost gameplays 24-7. Most likely, somebody really doesn't want to do that. But if you're a skilled player and you honestly know and understand how the game operates, you can blatantly tell the difference between someone who's cheating and someone who's not. And it's really unfortunate, man. But hey, it is what it is. You know, life goes on. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you guys got some insight on what is going on right now. Content might slow down a bit when it comes to the camo grind, but rest assured, we're going to be uploading a lot of content to the channel. Granted, it might be some private match gameplay and probably some search and destroy clips and stuff like that, but we most certainly are going to be attempting to do a lot of other things. And, you know, it's just unfortunate, but it is just what it is. You know, I'm not mad at nobody because, you know, granted, because the SBMM, everyone's a cheater when someone does better than them. But someone just such as myself that literally has played the game too much to actually just learn how to predict. It's just something that's in the game. You know, it happens. I'm not mad at nobody. It's just, just unfortunate. But further ado, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And, you know, I'd look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Like I said, we got a lot of plans coming up this year for content, and, you know, I'm really excited for it. This year, I'm going to really push my creativity when it comes to making thumbnails, and actually when it comes to editing videos. Now, granted, at first, I'm going to try to push daily uploads, and as my schedule opens up more, rather than working 13, 12 hours a day to where I can actually work 8 to 9 hours a day, that extra bit of time will be able to put into making content. And that right there is when the snowball effect starts to get rolling and we start to get a lot of things situated. But I don't want to keep you guys for too long. I did ramble just a lot. And, you know, we'll see what the future has in hold for us. Just one piece of advice that I'm going to leave with you guys is stay true, follow your dreams, every aspiration, goal, or even thing of which that you believe in, follow it. Make it a reality, because in fact, nothing is impossible in the life that we live. You are in fact one of the only people that can make your dream possible. It's going to take a lot of sleepless nights, it's going to take a lot of effort, and most certainly it's going to have a lot of work put into it. But when you're sitting on that gold throne, I'll tell you, you're going to feel as if you're against the world, man. But I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been sweaty, and I hope you guys have a nice day. See you guys.